Steve Forbes is back with us. Uh, Steve, it's clear that the CPAC folks is a conservative outfit. They've been around for a long time now. I'm sure you've spoken there before. They were kind of reluctant uh, towards Donald Trump at the beginning, wondering whether he was going to be conservative enough in his first year. I think they were genuinely pleased with uh, the conservative tendencies of this president. Oh, they had a love fest today. I think the reason why this speech went for over an hour today, David, was that since he's always getting beat up by the mainstream media, it's nice to go with an audience and close to a place like that and get cheered and cheered and cheered. They love the judges' deregulation, tax cuts, hitting uh, the lamestream media, as some of them call it, uh, strong foreign policy. So as they would say with them, what's not to like? Yeah, well, and, and you're a conservative, but you're also business people. And some, some business people are not conservative, by the way. They're liberal business people. But uh, the combination of conservative values and, and implementing them in policy and business, a pr very pro-business stance because of the fact that he's a businessman, uh, those two factors have come together. And I think, I mean, you know, today the market up 340. Now it's been down for, the, for a while over the past three or four weeks. It's dangerous for the president to say it's done nothing but go up because it could come down again uh, before it probably will come down again before his first term is over. Uh, but is there anybody else to give credit to for this booming economy right now? Well, one of the impressive things about what's happened in the past year is deregulation. And uh, presidents always talk about it, but he's his P, he and his people have followed through on it. You just look at what's happening in the energy field with a combination of technology. In a decade or so, we could be the lowest cost producer of oil in the world. We're now the largest producer of oil in the world. This is fan unbelievable. No one would have believed it a few years ago. You see, with the Internet, the empire is striking back. They can't stand what the Federal Communications Commission did in revoking Obama's crazy regulations. So uh, it's not just rhetoric. They're getting some real stuff done. Now, you do have concerns. You've voiced them here before about his trade policies and whether he was going to be too protectious. He talks. He still talks very tough. And indeed, we have signed some very bad trade deals in the past. There have been some poor negotiations. It, it wasn't handled well. Right. Uh, but are you still as fearful as you were? Because he hasn't really pushed that as hard as a lot of people had feared he would. Well, uh, you could almost say, is this a good negotiating tactic? You speak hard and he believes it. Then you sit down on the negotiating table and you get more than you would have if you've gone in like a, a lamb. So we'll have to see what's going to happen with NAFTA. That they have to conclude fairly soon. Mexico has got an election coming up uh, in a few months for the presidency. Uh, Canada, they've, they want a deal done. Yeah. So we'll see if they get a deal done. If they get a deal done, that I think the market would heave a huge sigh of relief. If this thing blows up, watch out. Now, if it blows up, how could that happen? I mean, could uh, everybody, the three parties, just go to their corners and not come back together and trade at all? Canada, U.S., and Mexico? No, they'll end up uh, having new arrangements, but uh, it's like uh, upsetting an ecosystem. Farmers are going to be hurt. A lot of uh, supply chains, including in manufacturing, are going to be hurt. So it would be one thing if they walked away and then came back a few days later after yeah. they huffed and puffed. But if NAFTA blows up, that's going to be a real blow to the economy and to the yeah. market. But if they get a deal, boy, just the opposite. I, I, by the way, I'm getting a sense if you were to grade this president of the first year, it'd be about an A minus, right? And the minus going because of concerns about trade policy. Have I got it yeah, right? Yeah, B plus A minus. And a. Uh, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm a, I'm a tough close. grader. I'm a tough grader. The, the, <laughs> the, the previous president, uh, you couldn't go, you can't be on Z. Uh, for, for, for a grade. So, uh, yeah, he's doing pretty well. Steve Forbes, <laughs> thank you so much.